hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous video tutorial we have add these fields which is this search box and this search button so let's start work on this search address functionality so as you know that uh, this is our edit text okay and this is our image button code which is the image button basically so now go to the google maps activity and here on our google maps activity so before we write code, uh, let me tell you that here when we wrote this, I mean with each button, you can see that we have wrote this on click. So this on click is basically the method which we are going to create now on our Google's map activity. So whenever a user click on the search button, then that method will be called for the search address as we can work on all these buttons in the upcoming tutorials as in this video we are just work on this search address functionality so make sure to write this on click here and basically this will be the method which we will create now by this name which is on click and make sure to write this with each button okay with this image button and also copy this from here and paste it inside each button okay so for this button also and also for this one which is our restaurants nearby schools nearby button and hospitals nearby button so make sure to write this okay now come back here and here we can create that method public white on click parameter which is the view by the name v i mean the v object and here we can create a switch which will get the ID of these buttons. So you can say v.get ID. So inside this switch statement, we are going to use the cache as you know that. So the first cache will be for the search button which we, where we are going to search address when a user enter any address he want to search. Or dot ID dot and the ID for our search button is we have not assigned any ID to the search button so let's give it ID so the ID for this will be let's call this as search underscore address so this is the ID for this and now come back here to the Java file and here we can say search address put colon here text and let's call this as address equals to edit text find you by ID R dot ID dot and the ID for our edit text is location search so pass that location search here so this is basically uh, the field which we get okay we need to get the text from this edit text edit text so for that we can create a string type variable so you can say string and let's call this as address field and now here uh, we can say address equals to we are going to get the text from the address field dot get text dot to string so now we are going to check if the if the string is not empty so we can say if text utils dot is empty and pass the address here so if this is not null then we will search for the address or you can say the location which a user will provide or which he wants to search so for that we will uh, use geocoder and let's call this as geocoder equals to new geocoder the context is this so here we can create a list so you can say list address let's call this as address list and here we can say address list equals to geocoder dot get from get from location parameter is need is the address which a user will provide or you can say the location name which a user will enter in the search box so we will pass that here which is the address comma and the second one is the max result so let's pass 6 to it maximum results and you can see that it shows an error here okay and it needs basically a try and catch so you can simply click here and you can see this red bulb if you click here then it is 
written that is surround with try catch. So click on that and you can see that inside the try uh, we have this address list equals to geocoder dot and then in the catch uh, you can see inside this catch e dot prince tag and the array is gone successfully. So if a user search for a particular location or address then it may return a list of five maybe five or six addresses or locations. So for that we are going to use a for loop. So here we can say for int i equals to zero i less than address list. So whatever the list it returns, then we are going to check the size of that. So the loop will run up to that size, and we can say i plus plus. And inside this for loop, and you can see this address list uh, giving us error because we have not initialized it. You can see that address list might not have been initialized. So come here and let's initialize this address list with null. So now you can see that the error is gone successfully. So we can say address user address equals to address list dot get and we are getting the addresses from the address list one by one and then for each address we are going to create a lat lang and let's call this as lat lang equals to new lat lang and it needs two parameters which is double type variable and that is the latitude and longitude so to do that what we're gonna do we can say user address dot get latitude comma user address dot get longitude put a semicolon and now we are going to create a marker for it so here we can say marker options and let's call this as marker options user marker options equals to new marker options so now we uh, need to add a marker on the area on the location for which a user is searching or which is searched so for that uh, we will copy the code as we wrote it earlier and we will change it for the user marker options okay for the user search location here so you can simply come here to the on location change method this is the method and here we wrote this code which is this one marker option dot position title icon and up to here copy this code from here Control C come back here and here you can simply paste it after this lat lang. So let's paste that here and now change this, remove this marker option and instead of that we can say user marker options, user marker options, user marker options, change this also to user marker options and here we need this user marker option dot position to lat lang then uh, we need to display the title so the title for this area will be the place name or you can say the location name for which the user is searching and it is it is stored inside this address string type variable so we can pass that variable here which is address and then if you want to uh, change the marker color then here you can simply write any color you want and let's change this to orange and then remove this okay we don't need it here because this is the search address for which a user is searching and then here we can map dot add marker to the user marker options to semicolon and then mmap dot move camera camera update factory dot new lat lang to the lat lang and then mmap dot animate camera camera update factory dot zoom by and you can set this value to anything but I will set it to 14 and now cut this for loop from here okay control x and we will pass that inside this try and inside this try after this address list First, we're gonna need if statement. We are basically going to check the address list. If this is not equals to null, if this if this is not null, then we will basically display the 
marker and uh, address for which a user is searching if that place is available or not so make sure to do the same okay which i did here and now let's close this case which is our first case for the search address so this is you can see that after this we can say break and put semicolon and change this zoom by to zoom 2 okay zoom 2 zoom to 14 and here as you see that if the text is if this address is empty is not empty then we will run this code so here you can write this not which is the exclamation mark okay you can see that so write the this exclamation marks here which means if the address is not empty and what if the address field is empty and the user click on the search button then here we can say we are going to uh, display to the user a toast message to write any address first so here we can say please write any location name and yeah that's it and after that uh, here you can see that we say if address list is not null so what if the address list is null and if there is no place for which the user is searching so in that case we can write here a toast message for the user and we can say write like a message and we can say location not found before testing the app let's uh, change the zoom to uh, I mean the size for it will be 10 because we are searching for a place so we need to I mean we do not do not need to zoom the camera too much to animate the camera too much so 10 will be good for the searching let's run the app to test this so our app is running now successfully and now let's before writing an address let's click this button and you can see that please write any location name so we have to give it any location name here so let's search for Turkey which is a country click on this and you can see that and if I zoom out little bit then you will be able to see this is the Turkey which is the country and these are the cities inside I mean this country so you can see that and it also add this marker if I click on it then you can see that it says Turkey and now let's search for another location so let's search for England click on this search button and you can see that if I zoom out you can see that and these are the cities inside England so in this way we have successfully add the search address functionality in our this finder app which we are developing using Google Maps in Android Studio and now from the next video we will start work on the nearby places so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now